I was teaching black kids this summer, but I actually learned more than I taught. Watching my students fight the same battles I fought. I saw myself in all of you. I saw the joy you're still able to hold on to despite all of the obstacles put in place to destroy you. I saw your resilience as you overcame battles that should never be placed on children. I saw your innocence in a world that labeled you a criminal before you even came into existence. I saw the pain in your eyes, even when you could look straight into mine and lie and say that you were fine. Or maybe you're actually convinced that you are, because in our community, when we try to discuss what's mentally hard, our parents respond with belts, leaving us mentally and physically scarred. I heard the, I, I saw the bruises. I heard the familiar excuses. I remember falling down those same black leather steps that our parents wore to hold up their pants, running to those two poles attached to my father's chest, the beat my stomach would make when there wasn't enough food on my plate, the looks the men gave when my body started to form its shape, the fear that made my heart stop every time I had to wait at a bus stop, the way my ears popped to the constant sounds of gunshots, mm -hmm. sitting in a church wondering why my cousin would sleep in front of us, begging him to get up and get my aunt a hug so that she would stop crying so much. Mm -hmm. He never did. A couple funerals later and I quickly learned the difference between a casket and a bed. I was teaching black kids this summer, but I actually learned more than I taught, watching my students fight the same battles I fought. It was like a flashback to my childhood experiences that developed into all these mental illnesses, helping me understand why I felt like this. All of our adverse childhood experiences that's making us more resilient, and my A score is a 10. Right now, they're probably at five, but soon their A score will match mine, leaving them standing in the corner crying, looking up to the sky, asking why. And I can pretend I had the answers, but I'd just be lying because there's no way to justify what's going on in our lives. All I can do is promise to always be by your side. And I'll actually mean it because the people that said it to me ended up leaving, leaving me fighting with my demons who told me that my wrist would look better bleeding and those pills would make me feel better if I just eat them and my pain would stop. If I ran up those steps to the rooftop, maybe my body would hit the ground hard enough to wake all of my friends up. I was six feet deep in my sorrows, hoping I didn't wake up to see tomorrow. But I'm still here. I had to pull myself out of a hole that I didn't even dig. But I'm slowly climbing back up to the top now, getting better. Educating myself so that I can help you put together the pieces to build you your own ladder. Your life will be a hard battle to climb, but I'll put together the pieces to try to make it a little less harder than mine. So if you reach the point where you feel like dying, you'll feel safe to pick up the phone and start dialing. And I'll run up to you and hold you in my arms and tell you stop crying. And I'll promise to never let you go until you're able to live rather than just surviving. I was teaching black kids this summer. And while they were learning, I was learning more about myself. I was unlocking more keys to my own mental health. They gave me that purpose I was desperately searching for. And I promise y'all I live my life and fight this war to make it a little bit easier for you to fight yours. Yeah!